Yes, I do. Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. Is it true, sir, that um, you have what's been described as an egg-shaped penis? Sir, according to the police department's probable cause affidavit, uh, one witness described your penis as oval-shaped and claimed when erect it was thick towards the bottom but was thin and small towards the head portion and called it egg-shaped. Those are not my words, I apologize. But as Mr. as Mr. Critton has stated, that this is a I'm willing to a prominent businessman who went to jail as part of a plea deal he reached while being investigated amid allegations he was a pedophile who had sex with scores of underage girls and used his staff to procure the victims. This is uh, this is this is Bill Cosby's story on steroids. It's extraordinary the number 60, 70, 80 underage girls. Uh, not just in Florida, but interstate and internationally. What would happen if I said no? I didn't know what would happen if they reported, if I reported them. That 16-year-old girl just let it happen. Billionaire investor and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein went to prison for over a year after he pleaded guilty to one count of solicitation of minors for prostitution. And come up with this deal that allowed Epstein to serve 13 months in a special private wing of a Palm Beach jail where he was allowed to leave every day for up to 16 hours. In that county jail, he would wake up in the morning and his private driver would take him to an office. He would go about his business during the day and then he would go back there and go to sleep at night. And you had the federal government calling a 14-year-old sexual abuse victim a, quote, prostitute? Well, she's an admitted prostitute. She's a serial liar. She's lied, 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 lied. I can tell you she is still a prostitute. She is selling false stories now for money about me. Do you have any concern calling her a prostitute when she was victimized at such a young age by this wealthy man? She was not victimized. She made her own decisions in life. And at the age of 15, some would say that's a little young and that she was taken advantage of. Relationship. I was never in the presence of a single young underage woman. So what we have is a one-sided story that the damn brain-dead media is allowing to take place without the rest of the story taking place because Dershowitz is a celebrity and he can call the morning shows and say, hey, I'd like to tell my part of the story. And Epstein's former butler swore under oath that Dershowitz was at Epstein's residences at the same time underage girls were there. Were there young women in another part of the house giving massages uh, when I wasn't around. I have no idea of that. In, in absolute secret, Dershowitz negotiated this deal that forgave multi-billionaire Jeff Epstein for procuring sex. Glenn Maxwell. I'm passionate about the ocean, the deep sea and the wild animals that live there. The woman Maxwell that you've seen, who also in, you know, was accused of being not only the participant in some of this stuff, but was the person who actually uh, went after the children, brought them through the house. That's what she was accused of. Uh, when she was put on the spot, she left the country back to the UK. Say to them, by the way, you just had sex with a 14-year-old, 15-year-old. Um, now I've got the dirt on you, so you're going to dance to my tune. Is there well, any that, 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 is that, that, that even is, possible, or just way uh, out of the realm? Of that no, it's not out of the realm. That is what's surfacing in some of these depositions. Hello. Hi, hell, it's Bill. I just wanted to make sure you don't forget my, my birthday's coming up, right? Yes, I know, Bill. Do, do you know what you're getting me yet? Tell me about your, uh, but you're still buddies with President Clinton, aren't you? Yes. Back to presidential politics now. There are indications that as Bill Clinton becomes a more prominent factor in his wife's campaign, some of the former president's leisure time pursuits could become major fodder for discussion. Previous accounts stated Clinton flew with Epstein on his private jet 11 times. 
A Judd accuser say was equipped for sex with underage victims and was used to travel to Epstein's private island, nicknamed Orgy Island. Newly obtained documents show Clinton actually took at least 26 flights on Epstein's private jet to spots around the globe, though apparently not after Epstein's plea deal and jail time. On at least five occasions that they did travel together, Secret Service did not accompany Clinton. You don't just dismiss Secret Service detail. No depositions taken by people that flew on his plane. No depositions by people who were social friends of his. No depositions about what happened on the island. No depositions from prime ministers or former presidents. There was a way in which the political connections that, that Jeffrey Epstein had was part of what went into, on the basis of your reporting, part of what went into the fact that he got such a sweetheart deal uh, and was able to evade spending a lot of time in prison. I don't know the whole story or anything, but I keep having reporters say, this is going to blow up. I remember you telling me in July or August of 2015 on this set yeah. that you believed that this was going to be a story that would explode in the campaign, and it never did. Yeah. It never did. Knowingly misled the victims, these young women, into believing right. that an FBI sex trafficking probe against Epstein was still ongoing. But the truth was, they had secretly closed it. We're going to turn now to former independent counsel Kenneth Starr, who's back in the news today because he's being named the new president of Baylor University. It's the same day a new book is out on the history of his investigation of the Monica Lewinsky scandal and the impeachment of President Clinton. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Ken Starr announced his resignation as Baylor University's chancellor this week over concerns the school did not do enough to investigate sexual assault claims. I honestly may have. I'm not denying that I saw it. But it's what happens moments later that brings the interview to a halt. Well, I want to point out, I, I need to talk to Jen Starr. Don't just start. Okay. Okay. I need to talk to you, sir. Spate was introduced to our crew as a longtime family friend. What we've since learned is she has a long resume in crisis management. She's a communications specialist, owns her own firm, and was once a director of media relations at the White House for President Reagan. She also coached Starr while he gave testimony to impeach Bill Clinton. All I'm going to say is I honestly have no recollection of that. Of seeing any email? Is that okay? Student Jasmine Hernandez, who is now suing Baylor for the way the school and the athletic program handled her rape allegations when she first came forward. And when her mother asked the academic services department for help, she says a Baylor school official told her, quote, if a plane falls on your daughter, there's nothing we can do to help you. In this case, the prosecutors essentially lied to the victims. They concealed what they were doing. They misled the victims. And Secretary Acosta was intimately involved in that. He was sort of sneaking off and having meetings away from the office to get it done. As the local U.S. attorney, it was his job to prosecute the case. But Epstein had a powerful list of lawyers on his side, including Harvard professor Alan Dershowitz, former Whitewater Independent Counsel Kenneth Starr, and Jay Lefkowitz, who just happened to be Acosta's former co-worker at the well-known Washington law firm Kirkland & Ellis. In this case, we deemed it um, necessary to become involved. And um, we, early on, uh, had discussions within the office. And we decided that, um, that a sentence, or, or uh, how should I put this, that Mr. Epstein should plead guilty to two years, register as a sex offender, and concede liability so the victims could get restitution. And if that were done, the federal interest would be satisfied and we would defer to the state. That Jeffrey Epstein saw while he, Acosta, was U.S. attorney in Florida is saying, how is this man still uh, United States cabinet secretary? A.B., but the president could take action. The president could look at this and say, hold on a second. Given that this is the person who oversees the country labor laws, right, that includes human trafficking, this could be a moment for the president to say, yep, thanks for playing, you're out. The Justice Department needs to blow this case wide open.